All right, guys. Well, I hit a, um, I feel like a major dad milestone uh, this past week. Um, I now have a beer fridge. Yeah, baby. <laughs> All right. And like, it's a whole new feeling of, of comfort and satisfaction to know that like you have your own fridge and it's just, it's f- just full of beer. It's just like, like that of, of everything that's going on. And like, especially once you have a kid, like the house is out of sorts sometimes and, 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 and things aren't where they should be, but just knowing that you have that beer fridge and everything in there is where it's supposed to be. And you know, you can go there and get what you need at a moment's notice. It's a beautiful thing. I got to tell you, I feel really great about it. And uh, you're both welcome over to check out the beer fridge whenever you want. Um, but this is going to lead into, into an idea I have for the podcast because um, unrelated, we record this show on Tuesdays and it gets uploaded on Wednesdays for people to listen and watch. Um, Tuesday, I have always thought, is the one day of the week that totally lacks an identity, okay? Monday is the start of the work week. Normally not great, but it has an identity. Wednesday's hump day. Again, normally not great, but it has an identity. Thursday is thirsty Thursday when you're not in a pandemic. Uh, Friday's the beginning of the weekend, and Saturday and Sunday are the weekend. But what is Tuesday? And I've been trying to, on my own, make up things to you know, generate some excitement for Tuesdays. And I thought now that I have my beer fridge and we're here every Tuesday talking to each other, we should find out some way to drink beer together. It doesn't have to be every week. It can be if you want to, it could be every other week or on some type of rotating schedule. But I think we should turn Tuesday into brews day. And I'm starting that out today with a beer. I love it. So cheers to you. Uh, the beer that I'm drinking is actually a beer that I think that where this is not okay. This is not a promotion. We do not have a discount code, but I think <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think <laughs> this beer would be perfect because it is from Hitchhiker Brewing. I'll show this if you're watching uh, the brunch breakdown. Hitchhiker Brewing breakfast stout called Woke. When I tried this beer, it tasted it tastes like brunch. It straight up tastes like brunch. It's fantastic. And it was, I thought, the perfect beer to have on a bruise day when I'm talking on the brunch breakdown with my boys. So cheers. Here's to a good episode, eh? Cheers. I'm drinking rosé today because of the Bachelorette is back, by the way. Hey, I'm there you super go. We're excited. Tuesday, it's Bachelorette Tuesday. But bruise day, I like it. We need to do something around bruise day. See, these are the things that we've got working. For the yeah. brunch breakdown, but I, like I love it. it. I love it too, uh, Chris. You mentioned Hitchhiker, one of my very personal favorites. Normally, I would have one of their beers up here right now. Um, you mentioned the beer fridge, and we. I do have a beer fridge, and it terrifies me that you. What you said about once you have kids and that things get kind of out of array, then that that's when you realize you needed a beer fridge because like what the hell am I going to deal with if I already have one? <laughs> which, pretty, which means there's already not enough space for it. I think I need a third fridge, which is terrifying uh, because currently, gentlemen, I do love craft beer. My fiance loves craft beer. So luckily we can share that. Also, unfortunately, we have to we have to share that kind of. <laughs> I can't just go in there and grab what I want. Um, but as we've discussed over the course of the summer, a lot of these breweries have gone into to-go sales, right? And it's four packs to go, six packs to go. So instead of being able to go to the brewery and try it, it's got to commit to a four pack. So because of that, I gave a a quick count before we uh, jumped on the air here. There's roughly 214 bottles or cans of beer (laughs) in this house. Oh my God. (laughs) And that's... It's alarming when I put it into that type of quantity um, because it's not like we don't drink it. It is not like we don't drink it. We do, but it's craft beer. You can't crush craft beer. You have to enjoy it and you have to pair it right, right? Chris, you had 
a, a, a breakfast stout. You got as there's a perfect timing and a place for that. We love sours. You got to have a right balance with that type of stuff, the right time of day. Um, so I'm going to need you guys to come over here first and help me get this quantity down because there's a serious, serious problem developing over here that I'm worried about. Um, and, and to celebrate Brews Day, uh, I'm going to go with something a little bit different. Again, normally I would go with a, a hitchhiker, a grist house, one of our fine uh, local establishments here in Pittsburgh. But another Pittsburgh brewery, Rivertown, uh, this is a chocolate, and cho- uh, coconut caramel and chocolate stout, better known as the Samoa Showdown because, boys, cookies are number one. So we've got to get a cookie tasting beer here. Cookies are number one, uh, 6.7 ABV stout. So it's nice. It's smooth. Got those great taste flavors. Uh, Rivertown's Samoa Showdown. Cheers. I like it. I like it. I, I, you're going to find every opportunity to get your cookie ranking into these episodes, aren't you? Everyone. And I'm just going to... Hmm. <laughs> well, Dan, you, I, I currently have some extra room in my beer fridge. So if, you, if you're if you going to buy some, you don't know where to put on, like you can bring it over to my house. I'm fine with that. You can... That's 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 good to know because we've already lined up, you know, all the beer releases come out like Monday and Tuesday for these local breweries around here. And we've already got at least uh, two to three, four packs lined up that we have to pick up this weekend. So we're in some trouble. Our <laughs> <laughs> drink. Wow. I, there are two things there. Uh, one, you're going to need a separate fridge for when, you know, when you and Shannon do have kids down the road, you will need a separate fridge just for your ha- for your happy place. Like, no one touches that fridge. Okay. Yes. You're not just going to be able to share the beer fridge. It's like you're going to have to slide off your own off to the side. She may not even know that you have a third fridge. You right. need that. Right. Second thing is you have a lot of beer in your house. Now I know how Shannon agreed to marry you. All right. <laughs> she may still not even know you guys are just drinking all billion cans of beer at your house. She probably doesn't even know she's engaged, but just shout out to Shannon. Just- hey. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Venue that's, books. That's We're the thing in. too. It's like when we do decide to have kids, and she then cannot drink beer for a period of many, many months. I'm not stopping. <laughs> Invite me over, man. I'm ready to go. Hey, you I'm gonna need some help there, Chris. I'm gonna need some help. I got so. you. I got you. All right. 